Right, this video will be uh, going through and just showing you how to get a quick way to get the GUID of a form you're on. Um, I often find that when I'm uh, developing, I need uh, to get the GUID of a record so I can put that in my uh, testing code so I can uh, run through the code to make sure it's working. So uh, often I'm getting a GUID, so I'm just going to run through a quick process of getting it in uh, Chrome and uh, Internet Explorer. If we go into um, our CRM and we'll just go to a, an account, I think. Right, so you go to the account, you press F12, and this brings up your kind of developer tools. Um, and if you then go to console, you'll see that you're in top frame. If you go down to content frame one, and then type in, so this is JavaScript, to get the XRM page data entity get ID, press that and then you have your GUID. Nice and quick. Uh, as also, if you have got um, is it a CRM dev tools by the Sonoma brothers, par brothers, partners, um, and they have They have a way also, they've got like a dev toolkit, and this will also have, um, if you start that up, it'll also have the NCID, which is what you want. It's also got a bunch of other stuff, it tells you your user, um, the roles you've got. You can do you can select fields. Test attributes, infecting run fetch XMLs. So you can see what plugins will uh, be running on the entity you're on, and uh, all sorts of stuff. So that's a very useful um, useful tool. Right. So that's uh, Chrome. Right. So now I'll replace that. I'll copy that and I'll just. Put my uh, Internet Explorer in, Internet Explorer 10 in this case. Um, once again, if you press F12, you'll get the debugger, JavaScript debugger window up. Okay. Console. So you press, uh, get, your, get your JavaScript debugger up. Go to console, and then you can, this one you press frames zero uh, XML page. Sometimes this might not work. So sometimes you might just have to start the debugger and it will kind of reload the page and kind of connect on with the, uh, with the JavaScript debugger and then this will work. But there you go. That's an easy way to get the GUID from the URL from the URL, from the JavaScript. There's another way also, if you um, you can do an email. So I did email a link, and then in here after the, after the 7B, bit at the end that is also the GUID well, there's a few ways for you to get it 